Welcome to the Nicholas 11 X12 technology. Today we're looking at the brand new AMD A450 300 Trinity APU. I've already tested the A105800K, A85600K and the A65400K and so I'd like to show you the results of the A450 300. For those of you that don't know what an APU is, well, APU stands for Accelerated Processing Unit. This means there's a traditional CPU inside and integrated graphics and these two units are combined together on such single APU chip. But here's the box, again we're looking at the A450 300. Here are some specifications and this APU is only compatible with the new FM2 socket and AMD recommends going with the A75 or A55 chipset on your motherboard. But you can of course also run it with the A85X chipset. The box looks very nice in my opinion and it got a lot smaller compared to the previous generation Lano APU boxes. On this side AMD basically tells you more about the dual graphics technology. So you can combine the integrated graphics with a discrete graphics card to get even more performance. Here's a little table that tells you what will basically run in dual graphics mode or also known as crossfire. The A10 series goes with the HD 6670 and 6570, same for the A8 series. The A6 series runs with the HD 6570 and 6450. Unfortunately the dual graphics technology isn't supported on the A4 series APUs. On the back of the box you get the description in different languages. As for the box AMD went with the white color, that's because you don't have an unlocked multiplier. In this series black boxes stand for an unlocked multiplier. But now let's open this box up and see what's inside. Alright that's the AMD manual and warranty. This is the stock cooler and it looks fairly simple but isn't very large. This means the APU most likely will not run hot. Thermal paste comes reapplied already and the fan uses a 4 pin fan connector. And last but not least the APU and the plastic protection even with the sticker. Now I'll take out the processor and there it is, it looks very beautiful. On the back as always are the pins and there's some free space of pins in the center just like we used to see it on the FM1 socket. For this test I'll be using the Gigabyte GAF2A75M D3H motherboard with the A75 chipset. And as for cooling I'll go with the stock cooler. But now let's move on to the specifications. The AMD A450 300 is a dual core Trinity APU that has a base clock of 3.4 GHz and a turbo clock of 3.7 GHz. The AMD Radeon HD 7480D graphics is embedded and the TDP of this APU is 65 watts. The 32 nanometer architecture is still used and there's absolutely no level 3 cache, instead you get 1 megabyte of level 2 cache. Dual channel DDR3 1600 memory is supported natively. As you can see in CPU-Z the APU gets detected without any problems. The voltage is very low, the latest instructions are used and to save some energy the APU will clock itself down to a lower clock speed on idle instead of constantly staying at 3.4 GHz. Like I've already said before this A450 300 has a locked multiplier and therefore you can't overclock this processor that easily. As for the memory support, well I have a DDR3 2000 MHz RAM kit installed but I couldn't get it to run at a rated frequency without overclocking the platform. DDR3 1600 RAM should be supported natively but unfortunately the system crashed when I tried running at 1600 MHz. This means I'm running this at 1333 MHz. In GPU-Z you can see the HD 7480D integrated graphics gets detected. The specs look pretty good and DirectX 11 is fully supported, that's very nice. But now let's move on to the benchmarks, this is my test system.
The AMD A450-300 definitely is a good choice for people that are in a tight budget. For the price, well, this 5300 offers acceptable CPU performance and good enough GPU performance for basic tasks. It's a little complicated to compare this APU with the competition, because you can't really compare this against Intel's Core i3 processor. Instead, you should compare this APU with Intel's Pentium G CPUs. Unfortunately, I haven't tested one of these, so I personally can't compare. Always keep in mind the price, it is fairly low and what can you really expect at this point? As already mentioned before, this is a dual-core processor, but unfortunately this A4 processor doesn't have an unlocked multiplier like we used to see it on the A6, A8 and A10 APUs, but still overclocking is not impossible here. You know, as you saw yourself in a benchmarks, the integrated GPU performance is simply too low for these modern demanding games, even on low settings, but not the lowest. But the CPU part would be a bottleneck when it comes to gaming. I paired this APU up with the HD 7850 discrete graphics card and comparing this A4 APU with the A8 or A10 APUs, which are quad cores, the gaming performance isn't the greatest. A powerful discrete graphics card will not really fix this problem, simply the CPU performance is too low and that's because it's a dual core. The Intel Core i3 CPUs are dual cores too, but they have a special feature called hyperthreading. Therefore, these CPUs work like quad cores and also perform so in games for example. But actually, I can't really say anything bad, because just consider this price. At this price you get a great budget APU that is perfect for office and casual gaming. The power consumption is fairly low too, especially on idle, but when comparing this A4 APU with the A8 or A10 power consumption, well, there is not so much difference actually. I would have liked to see a low power APU at this point. The performance isn't that great, but the power consumption seriously is too high for the offered performance. The A8 and A10 scaled better when it came to their performance per watt. So in the end I'd say this A450-300 APU is meant for little tasks, so basic ones like office work, internet surfing, watching videos and maybe even light gaming. Of course you will not be able to play the game titles at very high resolutions or settings, but set the game options up wisely and it should end up playable somehow. Again this APU wasn't intended for the gamer or performance user. Pros are good price performance ratio, good GPU performance so the HD 7480D, then I like the low temperatures. For the cons, well, at first the CPU performance could have been a little better. This APU also offers lower gaming performance and that's because the CPU part bottlenecks discrete GPUs like the HD 7850 for example. Unfortunately the power consumption is too high compared with the AMD A10 and A8 APUs. And lastly DDR3 1600 memory wasn't supported on this particular chip. And so I have to give this APU a 6 out of 10, but still I would recommend it for basic usage but definitely not for gaming or video editing. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.